All right, Kevin. Uh, I'm going to try and do this. I'm, I'm working with a new program. I'm trying to uh, get this screen capture because the other one just was not working. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do here is we're going to go through uh, this uh, template that I've sent you and uh, explain how to get this uh, coffee uh, logo into the logo that you want. Uh, okay, basically this the way this is set up is if you look over here, you've got uh, down here on the bottom of the screen, your layers, you've got uh, your design here, effects, and backgrounds. Um, just a little bit of uh, information for you. These backgrounds can change. These are already preset in the uh, in the, the template. And you see as I'm taking off the uh, layers, as I'm changing the visibility on the layers, uh, they will uh, show the layer underneath. And so it just goes to show you that there's more uh, pictures available. You can add your own pictures. Uh, here, I'll add one here real quick. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm just going to the, the top layer and any layer, that, so long as you're in the background layer here. And you're going to, I'm just going to embed a picture. Uh, I've got a picture here in a texture. And so let me go down here to... And it's and you know if you just get whatever you whatever you want. Um, see how this one works. Okay, this one's kind of backwards, so I'm gonna uh, edit, uh, transform. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, flip horizontal. And now I need to make sure that this fits within the. Deal. So I'm just going to drag it, and I'm going to hit Shift so it stays uh, stays within its little parameters. I need to make it a little bit more and a little bigger. Okay, so it fits in that little screen thing. I'm going to hit OK. It should be high enough resolution that it's going to look clear. Yeah, it'll look it looks fairly clear. So I'm just showing you there that you can put this on a window, any any type of picture you want. Uh, it's not really meant for that one, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, so now we're going to go to this actual image here. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the backgrounds uh, could do. So now what you're going to do is you're going to double click on your design here. Well, not on that. You're going to double click on the layer. And what that's going to do... There you go. You double. I, I double clicked on the on the thumbnail. Okay, my computer stinks, by the way. But uh, so anyway, I double click on the thumbnail, and it opens. It's what, what what's called the smart object. It's going to open that up in another file and uh, another window. And so you see here, you've got all the stuff that was on the window. Well, we don't need any of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and import the one I want. Uh, I'm going to place embed, or file, place embed. I'm going to go uh, to where my my logos are stashed. Um, let's see. And I'm just, uh, I've already done this. I'm just uh, trying to show you uh, the entire process here real quick. Um, so I'm going to go, let's see. I want my transparent, let's see, any of these uh, PDFs, a PDF file is going to have a transparent uh, file for you. And you see right here it has, uh, comes up with a little preview. And it's going to be on the top layer. Now I'm just, a quick way to resize something so that it stays. Uh, so that it stays. Uh, Ah. A quick way to do this so that it's so that your um, file stays in the same dimensions because you you know you, you're going to show this as a, as a sticker that you're making. Uh, you just click on the on the arrows here and hold your shift key down. If you hold shift down, then it, it's going to stay the same dimensions. It's not going to uh, stretch or skew or anything like that like going like that does. Uh, it keeps it within the same parameters. 
All right. So there you go. We're already going to five minutes. Well, this, this is going to happen pretty quick now. Okay, so I've got that. And so I can go ahead and delete these other layers. I don't need those, and you don't need those. Uh, this is just showing you how this works. Once uh, you've got your artwork like you want, you're going to save this image. File, and you don't have to worry about where you're saving it to. Just file, save. Okay, once it's saved, and it's working there right now. It's Okay, it's saved. Now look at this. When I go back in here, it's already changed in there. Okay, it's already changed even with the effects. If you, let me zoom in here. Uh, I'll zoom in. And you see how it's got the, um, the shading, the shadows right there. I'm going to take that shadow, those shadows off by taking this effects layer. Nah, not the whole thing. See, you can take off the uh, initial layer, or you can take off the shading right there. Uh, that just shows you that they're you, you you can modify them. It's not a it's not a big deal. Okay, so. We've got, this is already six minutes. All right, man. So you've got your image there, right? So that, that looks good. Well then say uh, you also want to show them, w without actually changing the file, you want to show them what it would look like with the white, uh, just the white sticker, you know? Say it's a tinted window or something like that. They don't want black, they want white. So I'm gonna go back in here, and one thing you're gonna, you can do, you can change this. Well, you can make another file, obviously but I don't want to make another file. I want to go as simple as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look white. So the way to do that in uh, Photoshop is adjustment layers. So down here on the bottom, you see this half circle. I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. And on the Hue and Saturation bar, what I'm going to do is on this lightness, I'm going to drag it all the way to 100. You can do it all the way to 100. If it's white, it does the same thing. If it's white, you go all the way to negative 100 and it makes it black. And just to show you, let's see, let's go to zero. I can change the colors of this. If it's, uh, let's see, no, I, I can't change the colors with any, none of this stuff right now. It's okay. It's okay. We don't want to worry about the colors anyway. Um, so I'm just showing you here real quick just to make it white. So doesn't matter I just wanted the the lightness all the way to white all the way uh, positive 100 okay so it's positive 100 that's still if you look here in the in the initial layer it's still uh, black right okay so but it looks white so I'm going to save this again file save remember it doesn't matter it's it's going to save in the same spot it's not going to save it in another file or another folder or nothing like that so this is saved click back into your file and voila you have yourself a uh, a white sticker now okay so let's say you want a full colored one not a problem what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add on top of this because I can always close these off right I can turn the visibility off so I'm gonna go file remember I've got the logo already done in color so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go See, let's move this so I can see the preview. Uh, let's see, that's the one that's got the uh, full color. So it's a PDF again. So I get that. I'm going to hit place. Hit OK, and there you go. And so remember, I'm going to click on this one of these corner arrows, and I'm going to hit shift or pull, keep shift down while I'm dragging it, and it stays in the same dimension. always do that all right so I hit OK this is where I want it voila now I got my colored logo well what do you think is gonna happen when I hit back over here oh well see okay I, I haven't saved it right so you got to remember to file save once it's saved you're going to have your colored logo on there and there you go now you got the colored logo and you can go back and um, uh, you can go back and you can check and see which uh, just just check and see which one you think looks better you know uh, because it's all about the appeal um, and 
to which one you know you want to use you can use all these you can use none of them you can come up with your own pictures take your own photographs uh, whatever you want to do and there you have it man it's real basic real simple uh, I'm pretty sure you can handle this uh, to save it what, what you do after this is uh, you've got it like this okay and you want to save it so you're gonna file you're gonna save as a JPEG uh, you want to save it as a picture so you can put it on your Facebook or put it on the on the website so you're gonna click down here save type as uh, to JPEG and whatever you want to name it as I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on the desktop because I'm just messing around with this one uh, just do DC logo sticker mock-up you know something 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 crazy like that and then hit save and then it's good to go hit OK and you're good so if you have any questions let me know uh, I think this is pretty self-explanatory uh, well to me I mean I've done this quite a bit uh, but uh, just play with this a few times and see what you come up with and this should help you out all right thanks a lot man